Kung Fu Kitty. Ain't nobody praying for me. We don't know what happens on Earth stays on Earth. Here we go. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective, and my perspective may differ from yours. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been down with me, all my fans, all my beautiful fans. Welcome back to my channel, it's Deanna Simone, and this is another vlog where I'll be documenting my consistency. I'm actually working on a volume and frequency squat cycle. This is week two of the squat cycle, and today I'm doing an upper body routine. You can see I'm getting through my lower body and also upper body routine before I jump into my squats. So today we are doing back squats and I'm doing 60% of my personal record, also two sets of three. Like I said before, every day is not going to be the same program when it comes to squats because you want to give yourself time in between each session to recover. We're squatting five, almost six times a week. So you really want to, you know, not go so hard every day but also give yourself a, a chance to really learn the movements focus on your form especially on days like this when you're doing smaller sets two sets of three is a perfect day to really like zone in on your form maybe focusing on how you start your squat how you position yourself maybe focus on how deep your squat is focus on simple simple things when doing these smaller sets so next, I'm getting into my upper body workout. So today is just upper body, but then also we're doing the squats. So I'm getting into my incline bench press. I'm doing three sets of eight, and I'm only using 15 pound dumbbells. And with all of these workouts, except for the squat cycle, I'm going to go up in weight at least every two weeks or when I feel uncomfortable. So two weeks seems to be a nice time for me to progress and move up in weight, especially if you're trying to build muscle. You want to, you know, go up in weight at least every two weeks or go up 10 percent at least every two weeks. <laughs> press this is kind of like fun for me i would introduce to this um in a couple of programs back on my youtube station and i'm doing three sets of eight on each side so this is a good upper body workout and also is working your core it's very challenging so this week doing this upper body program i forgot this is like a circuit so first i did the incline bench i'm doing three sets of eight and then i go into a bent over row which i don't think i showed here i do a bent over row and i'm doing three sets of eight as well and then i'm gonna get into the pay off press where i'll be doing another set of eight and i do all of these three sets of eight and then i'll be finished my circuit <laughs>
we go. So first I did the incline bench, one set of eight, and then I did the bent over row, one set of eight, and then I do the pay off press, one set of eight on each arm in the pay off press. I don't know why I forgot to mention my bent over row. I really enjoy these as well. And I also started off with the lighter weight and I'm gonna also go up and weight um, every two weeks with the bent over row as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this upper body program. I keep it very simple and I don't do a lot of workouts, especially for the strength based program. Welcome back to the channel. It's Deanna Simone and I just finished my workout. Today was back squats at 60% of my personal record. Now on Tuesdays and was it Thursday, yeah, Thursday is going to be pretty much the same schedule when it comes to the squats. It's always going to be 60% and then two sets of three. So it's not going to be too much work. And the reason it's not going to be a lot of work on those days and the reps and like, um, and load is like different on certain days is because like give you an opportunity to recover. So you don't want to, you don't want to push heavy week. You don't, you don't want to push heavy weight every week or every day because that's going to overtrain you so you're going to have days where you do less reps and sets and i love those days because i feel like that gives you the opportunity to really focus on your form and really take your time um yesterday i did well but i had to do six sets of six so i was running late on time so i was trying to get through those sets and your girl was washed by the time i got to the four six sets of, the fourth set of six um it was tough so we'll see how next week goes i'm just on twitter right now reading i'm just reading but overall it was a good workout yesterday i didn't vlog too much i was studying and then i had to also upload um this week's youtube videos so that's what i did i went between uploading the videos and then studying and then i took a practice test which i didn't do well on so I think what I'm gonna do is today, I'm gonna study some more and then go and take the practice test again. So I think I'm gonna take it every day. I don't know if this is gonna wash me out, but um, I feel like I need to. I wanna at least hit 80% by the end of the, end of the week. And then hopefully next week, I'll stay in the 80% and then take it again, hopefully get 90. My goal is I wanna reach 90, above 90% on these practice tests and feel confident. So by the time, the, by the time I take the exam, um, you know, you're going to be in that midway 80% and 90%. You need an 80% to pass. And when I last took the test, I had, <laughs> I was eight points away. So I was very close, but I want to be confident. I'm going to go in there and know that I got this answer. I got this answer. I got this answer. Unfortunately, I need to go back and really work on my math skills because I haven't really done math like for a really long time. I've been out of school for 10 years. So I need to really work on that without using a calculator because you can't use one in the exam room. And I think that's something that hinders me a lot, especially now because we don't use it as much as we used to. So I've been learning little tricks and stuff. So I'm gonna work on that today too. It's just the motivation to actually do it. I think that's why I did poorly this week because last week I only took a test twice and I studied like twice last week. I just wasn't into it. So I've been praying for continued um, consistency, continued um, drive to work and study. And I don't want to lose that up, you know, that motivation to do these things because this is something I really want to do. And I feel like overcoming this and passing this test um, is going to further change my life. That's what I think in my head. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for me. So I have to work toward it. Um, I got no choice, y'all. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go home and drink my protein shake um, and get ready for work. And then we're, gonna, we're just going to work today. Um, maybe I'll share with you the ways in which I study. If I have some time, it's just I get so busy and I try to, I try to stay like focused because if I don't, I'll go off and do other stuff and it just is not good for your girl. So I'll talk to you all later. I hope you have a good day. We're in our second week of the squat cycle. Um, I feel good, but the true test is during the holidays. 
I saw that we're gonna be open 24 7 we're gonna schedule Thanksgiving so I'm expected to be here right I might want to do the same on Christmas they're probably gonna have earlier hours we're definitely gonna see this this is where the test begins y'all <laughs> that's why I didn't want to start the spot cycle till after but I know it's best for me to do it now especially if I want to reach a goal of uh, lifting a heavier weight before like cutting season all right so I'll talk to y'all later